There is so much nasty happening with this linear fusion rifle. This gun looks like it was straight up ripped out of the Mandalorian and handed to us. Fellas, today we're going to be talking about Lawrence Driver. It's the linear fusion rifle for Season of the Lost. It's the season pass weapon. We got the exotic catalyst, so we will be fully reviewing this linear fusion rifle today. But expect builds from us in the future, as there is just so much nasty that you can utilize here with Lawrence Driver. Now, its exotic perk is LaGrange. Lagrangian Sight. Lagrangian Sight. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. But this weapon marks targets with an automated targeting system. Now, it actually will make a noise when it does that targeting. The gun has a lot of character. Again, it's like R2-D2 is built into this weapon. Now, final blows on those marked targets generate a telemetry pattern, which is essentially that relic that drops there. Picking up a telemetry pattern grants bonus ability energy. But collecting three telemetry patterns, which means killing three targets that that have been marked by this weapon. If you collect three of those without dying, this will actually give you a bump there in your weapon damage. Now that bump is pretty significant, guys. We're talking a 50% buff in damage for 30 whole seconds. And you can actually refresh the timer as long as you are killing marked targets and picking up that telemetry on the ground after getting the kill. This will refresh the timer and continue that damage buff and you can just chain it back to back. Now, you can't really influence who it targets. This weapon has a mind of its own, although it does have proximity, and it tends to pick up whoever comes into proximity of you first, and it will pick up people behind walls. This weapon quite literally gives you wall hacks, similar to like one eye mask back in the day, but the target doesn't stay forever, and instead, the marking will actually go away, and you'll know which target it is that you need to kill because they'll have a glow around them. Again, very similar to one eye mask there. Now, the trait on this weapon is M Anomaly, or EM Anomaly. A precision final blow with this weapon creates an implosion that pulls in nearby targets and damages them with an additional detonation. Now, that is a ginormous pull. And we're going to talk about that a little more in just a moment. But first, let's talk about this exotic catalyst. This is a new perk being added to the weapon called Jump Driver, where it states that Lawrence Driver gains an enhanced radar. Now, the enhanced radar is only when you actually have this linear fusion rifle in your hands, not for the rest of your other weapons. Additionally, while this weapon has three telemetry patterns, M Anomaly detonations no longer require a precision fire. A blow. That's right, guys. That big explosion that you're seeing simply requires a kill, whether it's precision or body shot kills. Now, I know I'm hitting you with a lot, so let me just give you the flow chart here. Step one, you kill people with a linear fusion rifle, preferably marked targets. Step two, you pick up the telemetries that are dropped on the ground, and you can actually tell how many you're holding because it physically shows up on the barrel of your weapon. Those little tags will physically be added for each one you pick up. Upon killing three targets, though, and getting those three telemetry packs, Patterns, you're now able to walk around flat-footed with a 50% buff for 30 seconds, which means easy cheesy kills. Especially in something like Crucible, guys, all you have to do is land a body shot. No need to go for the headshots, although as sticky as this linear fusion rifle is, getting headshots is not that difficult either. And what's so beautiful about this is every single kill you get with the exotic catalyst will result in an M anomaly explosion, that void explosion that you see there. Now, this implosion, not really explosion, implosion, has some crazy yoink capabilities. We're talking almost 10 meters. We actually tested it yesterday. Around 9 meters was its max point, but that has the ability to yoink people to it. Now, that implosion damage is not going to give you the one-hit kill. Even with the Lagrarian buff, buffing it by 50%, you're still not going to get it. It caps out at about 180, but there are ways to amplify that damage. If you're standing in an empowering rift, empowering rifts, by the way, even with this linear fusion rifle all by itself, buffs the damage up to 199 per body shot. So you can literally just sit in an empowering rift and easily get one taps on guardians. But yesterday, and we're probably going to end up making a build for this, but we actually broke out the exotic mantle of battle harmony. We're takedowns with weapons that have a damage time matching your subclass element, grant you super energy. And while your super energy is full, you instead gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage of the type matching your subclass element. Now granted, you have to match your subclass with the element type of Lawrence Driver, which in my case, I'm rocking void. However, this does buff the damage up to 199, which is why you see here on Twilight Gap, I'm getting back-to-back -back chain kills here with Lawrence Driver, and I'm just landing body shots. No other buffs are at work here. This is just purely Mantle of Battle Harmony. And this is something that you can utilize in both PvE and PvP, as inside of PvE, that buff from Lagrarian by 50% is super nice. And as long as you are the one killing the targets that are auto-targeted by Lawrence, you will be able to continue refreshing this buff. Now, I do want to mention something. You have to be the one to 
kill the target. It cannot be an assist. It has to be you that lands the final blow. But you can land the final blow on a target with the linear fusion rifle, with the primary weapon, with your heavy, with your super, with your abilities. It doesn't matter. As long as you're the one killing that target, they will drop that telemetry on the ground. And when you pick it up, this will refresh the buff. So don't think you have the chain kills back to back with just the linear fusion rifle. That is not the case. And you may even want to get into a situation where you're killing a bunch of different ads with your primary weapon. And as soon as you get Lagrarian sight to proc for you, then just swap to your linear fusion rifle and shred those high health targets and champions. Now, how does Lawrence Driver compare damage wise against other linear fusion rivals, most notably Arbalus? Well, again, they both sit at the same charge rate of 533. Arbalus is in the kinetic slot though, and Lawrence is in the special slot. Damage wise, Arbalus actually hits at 38,496. This is actually a 5% increase in damage over base Lawrence. However, here on Carl, Lawrence with Lagrarian with that 50% buff goes up to 54,991 per crit. And again, that 50% bonus stacks with other buffs, so you can keep elevating that damage even more. Now, with all this being said, is Lawrence Driver all on its own in its base form worth using? Because again, especially in something like PvP, yes, it looks beautiful in the clips when we're landing one hit body shot kills on opponents. Lagrarian is obviously nasty, and the M anomaly perk with that void implosion is also disgusting. However, all of this is for not if Lawrence Driver is a terrible linear fusion rifle. Fellas, that is not the case. Lawrence is disgusting. Even in its base form, without proccing these perks, without doing all these other things, the weapon all on its own is so dang good. Now, there's a variety of things leading to this. Obviously, linear fusion rifles are very, very sticky. There is some range limitations here to Lawrence. So being able to snipe like past 40, 50 meters gets incredibly difficult. However, anything within that range, Lawrence shuts down. On top of that, with its tracking abilities, you literally have wall hacks for a decent duration there. My advice to anyone that is playing Lawrence Driver in this current sandbox, if you see this at the bottom left hand of your screen, Lagrarian Sight Target, that means you actively have a target on your head. Hi, do not peek. You will die. And there were times inside of Rumble that the only time I was actually getting stopped was when playing against opponents that were rocking double primary. That's literally the counter right now to Lawrence Driver. Had scavenger mods not been nerfed as they no longer double stack anymore, Lawrence Driver would be the most oppressive weapon inside of Crucible right now. But with the special changes, Lawrence isn't too oppressive. Although in the right hands that can stack on those telemetries very quickly, this weapon right here will wreck an entire lobby at ease. And again, with the exotic catalyst, with those implosions that's doing increased damage and procking off of body shot kills, man, it just gets even nastier. Overall, guys, I think character-wise, Lawrence Driver is the most unique linear fusion rifle we've ever gotten. I know a lot of people say this weapon is ugly. Look, it's got an ornament, which to me almost gives it like a Tex Mechanica vibe. However, overall, this gun is absolutely disgusting for both PvE and for PvP. And for those that are trying to get the exotic catalyst for this weapon, I highly recommend unlocking rank 22 in the season pass before really committing to this exotic catalyst grind. And again, you pick up the catalyst from the gunsmith. He'll require you to do a lot of things, including playing in one of the three core playlists for calibration. And I mean a bunch of games. We did it yesterday live. We did like 40 something rumble games as you get like five points per win. And inside of rumble, you technically win as long as you're in the top three. However, this is not a grind that you have to do all in one day. You can take your time as you're doing things like nightfalls and gambits and crucible throughout the season. The exotic a catalyst will eventually unlock for you. So guys, try it out for yourselves. It does have somewhat of a learning curve to it, but even in its base form, it's one of the best weapons in the game. You start rocking loadouts, like empowering rifts, absorption cells from Man on Battle Harmony, and a number of other ways to buff the damage here. Lawrence is only going to get nastier. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.